Hey everybody, this is going to be a quick video on how to use AutoStackit to process a video of the moon. Um, so let's open up AutoStackit. Here we go. So I've got the program here, and AutoStackit has two windows. It has a control window here with all the controls that you need for it, and a window that shows you your image. So let's grab a video which I've taken of the moon. So I've, I took quite a lot of footage of the moon here, and I'll just grab this one here, which has got quite a lot of craters on it so it looks looks interesting so um, you can see when you drag and drop it in you get a picture of the moon and there we go you can see it's got lots of craters and lots of detail there and what we're going to do now is we're going to use this video that we've got here if I play it through you can see the image is um, wobbling with the Earth's atmosphere there so what we're going to do is stack this to try and create a final image. So um, in AutoStackit, what you have to do, first of all, is tell it what it's looking at. So in this case, we're looking at the surface. And then we need to analyze this video to see what the quality of the pictures are. So we click Analyze. And then AutoStackit goes through and looks at the general quality of the image. And you can see here that um, I've kind of got a wiggly graph that goes all the way down and it's visible that it shows that um, quite a low percentage is actually good enough to stack. So I'm actually only going to stack probably 25% um, of these frames and it seems a real shame to want to throw away most of your footage but there's no point on stacking an image which just isn't good enough. So I'm going to put here in the frame percentage to stack 25 because it's just about there and anything above 50 I want to keep so that seems to be about right so the next uh, step is to come to this screen and because we need to align each of the frames of video on top of each other properly we need to tell it to put some alignment points on so what we do is we click this button which is place alignment point grid place AP grid and then it goes through and it calculates where it puts them all and you can see you get loads and loads of little red dots with blue squares now if you think that's too many what you can do is clear it and you can select a different number here I've chosen 200 now so there should be fewer this time so it's going through and you can see the squares a lot bigger and the red dots smaller I'm going to go for a happy medium and to go to choose 48. Just clear the current alignment points. That looks pretty good. It's just to give different points that the individual um, frames can be aligned to in auto stack it. So that's looking pretty good. We've got our alignment points there. So that's it. I'm not going to change any other settings on this. I'm going to go with everything else as default. And then I'm going to click stack. So AutoStack is now doing its processing and it's then going to stack all of those images together and then create a folder back where our original video was, which is in here. You can see that it's created a folder called AutoStack at P25 and in there we've got our picture. And when we open that, there it is. So that is the stacked image which we've just created in AutoStack it. And we can see quite clearly that um, there's a little artifact down in this corner here which we need to crop out. The colour isn't bright and also the orientation of the moon isn't correct there as well. Um, and you can see some artifacts around there. So we're now going to go into uh, Registax to improve this image. So we'll come out of Auto Stack It and close that down. And then we're going to go into Registax. So Registax allows us to improve the quality of the image that we've got. So I'm just going to drag and drop that into Registax. And there we go. So we can see our image here. So the first thing I want to do on this is to change the color. So we need to go to the RGB balance. You get that kind of green tinge to the image. So I'm going to show the processing area and you get this box here and then I'm just going to move it over onto the actual surface of the moon as well and then I'm going to click auto balance and you can see it gives a slightly grey blue 
tone and I'm just going to tone, tone the blue down slightly. So I think that looks pretty good. Um, now it's slightly confusing in this program because it only shows you a small processing area. The idea of this is that you can see things quickly but if you want to see the whole image you click the button which is do all and then it goes in stages across the image processing and you can then see the individual um, frames, uh, the, the individual squares changing colour. So now what I want to do is bring out the um, craters on the surface of the moon. So I'm going to use wavelets for this and um, these are the wavelets here and I always start at the bottom and then work my way up. So I'm just going to drag this up a little bit and you can already see it's improving this quite dramatically in the sharpness of the image. Now it is really possible with this to push the image too far and it will make it really grainy and pretty much destroy the image as you can see if I do that. That isn't a natural look at all. Um, although it's very much personal taste and you can do that for artistic create artistic effect as well. So I'm going to just try and get a happy medium where I've got enough detail. I'll just click do all just see what that looks like. See, that's not too bad. I might do one more, just a little bit. And click do all again. That's pretty good. You can really see the detail coming out there. And you can really see from um, this crater here how you've got the ejection lines from the impact. That's really good. So I'm going to save that image. And I'm going to save it as uh, moon processed. One. And then just save it back into that folder. Now this time it saves it as a JPEG and before it had saved it as a TIFF file. So there we go, we've done that. I'm now going to go into a, a graphics program called GIMP just to tweak that image. So let's go into GIMP. Okay, so again, I'm just going to drag and drop my image. And there we go, so we've got that so far. So the first thing I want to do is rotate the image because it needs to be the correct way up. And um, in GIMP, you have a rotate tool here. So I click that and then you just grab the image and you turn it around. There we go, looks pretty good. Now, also I'm going to just zoom out slightly because there were some artifacts around the edges so I wish to crop it. So this is the cropping tool here and click on the cropping tool and then I'm just going to draw a box of the area that's kind of interesting to look at and then just click return. So that looks pretty good. I think that's pretty much all I want to do there. Um, it is possible to just look at the colour balance as well because there is colour on the surface of the moon. Um, so I was just going to see if I can that's the wrong, wrong one. I'm going to colour temperature, pick a button, and then I'm just going to tweak it just to try and... See, that's not a bad... I'm not unhappy about that. You can obviously bring out the colour a lot more. Um, but that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to save that off as an image. So I'm just going to overwrite the current image, or I could export and then give it a different file format. But in this case, I'm just going to overwrite that image and then I'm just going to click export. And that's now saved over the previous image. So when we go into here and open this image, that's our final image of the moon, which looks pretty good. Um, you can do a lot more processing to bring up more detail, but um, I think that looks pretty good for a very quick process on the surface of the moon. So I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching.